Hi, it's Russ from Studio One Expert, and I want to show you a cool trick I discovered by accident, actually, and that is using the Groove Analyzer and the Groove Detection System within Studio One to copy drum parts into MIDI parts, so basically convert audio to MIDI. It's a cool little trick, and it doesn't take long to figure out, but it's well worth trying out. If you're not a drummer and you've got an acoustic drum part, and perhaps you want to replace the kick or enhance the kick, or you want to take the snare drum and put a new snare drum in, and it doesn't take uh, very long to do. So I'm going to show you now. So I've got here my acoustic drum parts, and just hear them first. And I'd like to take the snare part here, and I'd like to trigger Easy Drummer to do the snare instead. So First thing I want to do is go to Quantize, but in Quantize you have two options. You have this Grid option, then you have this Groove option. The groove is normally used for actually getting stuff uh, synced together with the Groove. But what I've discovered is that if we come here and we drag the snare drum into there, as you can see, it's now mapped uh, apart from that snare drum. So what I can do is if I drag that now, it seems to have picked up other stuff that's spilled into there as well. So I'm going to just clear that again, and I'm first going to go here. I'm going to analyze the snare and I'm going to bring it down a bit so it's a bit less sensitive. So there we go. So now I go back here again and I grab this and I put this up in here and I pick this up and drag it down to Easy Drummer there. And now if we solo that, what will happen is it doesn't know which note it's on. So the first thing I want to do then is double click, open this up. And if you can see here, I have all the note names because I've clicked here to show the drum names of the drums instead of the note names. And if you can't see that, hit that little wrench there, come here, choose GM drums, or if you've got a different drum host, you might have to remap them yourself and press OK. So at the moment it's showing it on the high bongo. So obviously we don't want it to play the bongo, so I'm going to grab that and I'm going to pick it up and just literally drag it down. There's the snare. Uh, let's come down a bit. Have a listen to that. Now, if we listen to that now. I'll put the snare in as well. So I'm enhancing that snare drum now with a snare from Easy Drummer. Now obviously you can be as complicated or as uncomplicated as you want, but I could come here again. I could then come to here to chorus kick and I could grab that and do just quickly what I will do is just the analysis of it. Now that's too sensitive, so I'm going to put that into standard mode for a second, analyze that. Let's have a look how that looks like. Yeah, that looks like the kick's right. So let me create a new instrument track. And we will go to there, and we will drag that into there, and we'll break that out. And there's the chorus kick now. And I'll send it out to Easy Drummer again. Uh, double click on it. Let's bring that in a bit, grab them all. Make sure we have got the Drums showing, grab all of these, drag them down. There we go. So we've got the kick and now the snare mapped to Easy Drummer 2. So either you can enhance the, this could be impact or anything you're playing, but either you can enhance uh, original drums or you can replace them. It's entirely up to you. But the cool thing is as well is if we go into that snare for a minute, you'll see that it's pretty damn accurate. Look, it's not actually hitting there on the smack on the beat because actually the snare drum itself doesn't do that either. We come in and we see them. So it's very accurate. And if we put the two together, in parts, so as I say, that is the snare drum, I think, there. And we sell her that snare drum. Which 
choose a different snare to play. That's it. It's as simple as that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.